Okay, so the singular value decomposition, or the SVD, is going to be useful throughout the module, and we're going to see that it gets used in all kinds of applications. But I just want to hi highlight a few results now and prove a couple of uh, propositions that will be useful to us going forwards. Well, one of the things we're going to be interested in is when we've got a random variable x that say takes values in Rn and let's suppose that the covariance or the variance matrix of x is sigma. Well often we're interested in projections of x that minimize or maximize the variance. So what's the projection? So let's suppose we've got a vector a that's also in R n, sorry, I should have written, is in Rn here. So let's suppose you've got a vector a that's in Rn, then a transposed x is just a scalar. And the variance of a transposed x is just a transposed sigma a. And this is what we call a quadratic form. So we're going to be interested in finding choices of A that make this variance as large as possible, or sometimes as small as possible. And so we're going to want to solve optimization problems like find the maximum with respect to the vector A of a transposed sigma a. Now that question is written is not interesting because if I multiply a by some constant it's going to make the quadratic form a transposed sigma a bigger. Okay. So we have to put constraints on this. So let's say we're going to constrain a so that the length of a is 1. So we're going to find the vector of length 1 that maximizes this quadratic form. Well, one thing I just want you to note right away is that if a is not a unit vector, then if we consider a transpose sigma a divided by a transpose a, well, this is the same thing as a transpose sigma a divided by the normal a squared or in other words a divided by the norm of a transposed times sigma times a divided by the norm of a So this maximization problem, this constrained maximization problem, is actually the same as maximizing a transposed sigma a divided by a transposed a. So I can choose to solve either of these two problems, either the constrained maximization problem or the unconstrained maximization problem. Well, the first result we're going to see is that the maximum of this problem, a is of length 1, is lambda 1, okay, the first eigenvalue, and it's achieved uh, for a equal to um, x1, where lambda 1 is the largest eigenvalue of sigma and x1 is an eigenvector corresponding to lambda 1. So let's prove this. Well, we know that the variance matrix is an n by n symmetric matrix. 
So we can write it using its spectral decomposition as um, U lambda U transposed, where U is the matrix of orthonormal eigenvalues and lambda is a diagonal matrix of lambda uh, of eigenvalues, sorry, and U contains eigenvectors, orthonormal eigenvectors. So let's let A be a unit vector. Okay, so A transposed A is one. Then let's consider A transposed sigma A, and we're gonna find the best possible choice of A. Well, this is A transposed U lambda U transposed A. And if we let B be U transposed A, we can rewrite this as B transposed lambda B. And because lambda is a diagonal matrix, this is just the sum from I equals one up to n of lambda i bi squared, where bi are the components of vector b. Now, we chose a to be unit vector, but is b a unit vector? Well, let's just check. Let's think about b transpose b. That is a transposed u, u transpose a, or u transposed, u, u transposed is identity, so this is just a transposed a, which is one. So b is a unit vector. And as lambda, uh, as diagonalities are ordered, lambda one is bigger than equal to lambda two, bigger than lambda three, etc. we can see that the sum of lambda i b i squared is maximized at b equals to one zero zero zero. Okay, so that's a unit vector, and it just picks out lambda one, which is the biggest of the eigenvalues. Well, what is a? B was u transposed a, so a must be u b which is u1 okay so the maximum we can achieve is lambda 1 and it's achieved at, at the first eigenvalue u1 proving the result what about for the svd and the single value decomposition well we have a similar result if we look at the maximum of AX, where X is a unit vector, this, by the same kind of argument as we had before, is the same maximization problem as solving the unconstrained problem, maximizing AX, the norm of AX over the norm of X. So we know that the norm of AX squared is just X transposed A transposed AX. And if we write A in its singular value form, decomposition form as U sigma V transposed, then A transposed A is going to be V sigma squared V transposed. So we get this is x transposed v sigma squared v transposed x. And just by the previous calculation we did, we must have that the maximum of this, given 
x having length one must just be um, sigma one. Okay, the maximum of the norm squared is going to be the first uh, eigenvalue lambda one. This is square root of that, so it's sigma one. And it's going to be achieved at x equal to v one.